we want to evaluate or simplify the given expression. Following the order of operations, the first step is to simplify within the parentheses, which means for our expression, the first step is to determine one-third minus one-sixth in the parentheses. In order to add or subtract fractions, we must obtain a common denominator, hopefully the least common denominator, which in this case is the least common multiple of three and six. The least common multiple of three and six is six, and therefore six is the LCD, which means we need to write one-third as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of six. And since three times two is equal to six, we multiply the numerator and denominator of one-third by two. I do want to mention, if we have a hard time determining the least common denominator, we could just multiply the two denominators together. Notice three times six is 18. We could use 18 as a common denominator, but that would just require simplifying after determining the difference. Notice one-third is equivalent to two-sixths, which gives us the quantity two-sixths minus one-sixth, and we still have divided by 11 eighteenths. And two-sixth minus one-sixth is one-sixth, giving us one-sixth divided by 11 eighteenths. From here, dividing by a fraction is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal, which means dividing by 11 eighteenths is equivalent to multiplying by 18 elevenths. So now we write the quotient as one-sixth times 18 elevenths. To multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators and denominators, but we do want the product to be in simplified form. So let's first write the product as one times 18 over six times 11. And now let's simplify out the common factors other than one between the numerator and denominator. Notice 18 and six share a common factor of six. The 18 simplifies to three because there are three sixes in 18, or because 18 divided by six is three. And the six simplifies to one because there is one six and six, or because six divided by six is one. Now the only common factor between the numerator and denominator is one, so now we can multiply and know the fraction will be in simplified form. In the numerator we have one times three, which is three. In the denominator we have one times 11, which is 11. The given expression simplifies to 3 elevenths. I hope you found this helpful.